in this video i am going to present the topic extent diversity and threats to biodiversity first is extent diversity an extent group is one which has survived to the present day so it is a living group this distinguishes it from an extinct group so extent diversity is the term refer to taxa that are still in existence the term extent contrasts with extinct example group of mollusks known as the cephalopods there are approximately 600 extinct species and 7500 extinct species so this means the extent diversity uh, and also the extinct species next is measure extent diversity so the diversity such as the extent diversity measurement have very variety type so in this case estimate how many extinct species the have employed indirect measures and in the process have made major assumptions of one kind of another so the five main method have been used to estimate the numbers of extinct species in large taxonomic or all group based on exploitation from canvassing expert patterns of species description proportion of un underpriced species well studied areas and at last well studied group next method is canvassing expert estimating overall numbers of species based on the opinion of those experts who have studied particular group of species over long period and have gained an understanding of numbers that are unknown to science next measure method is pattern of undescribed species here the samples are representative estimating overall numbers of species from the ratio of previously unknown to previously known species in large samples of specimen and then extrapolating the overall numbers of known species third one is pattern of species description so pattern of description indicate future pattern based on the type next is well studied area overall number of globally or in very large region have been estimated by extrapolating from the few areas for which numbers of species are reasonably well known the last method is well studied group estimating overall numbers of species based on the global numbers in well known groups and estimate of the ratio of the numbers of species in these group to others in those few region where the latter are reasonably well known next is threats to biodiversity species losses and other declines in biodiversity result from these main causes first is habitat loss and degradation next direct exploitation third invasive species and the fourth extinction cascade these have been termed as the the evil quartet first is habitat loss and degradation and fragmentation dramatic distribution of habitat or vegetation type has been a feature of the history of human kind with habitat change as a consequence of the activity of prehistoric population have been reported on numerous occasion the natural landscape had actually much transformed by earlier human activities deforestation in tropical areas is greater eliminator of species followed by the destruction and degradation of coral reefs and wetlands plowing of grassland and pollution of streams lakes and ocean globally temperate biomes have been affected more by habitat loss and degradation than have tropical biome because of widespread economic development in temperate countries over the past 200 years such development is shifting to many tropical biomes next what is habitat island any habitat surrounded by different one can viewed as habitat island for most of the species that live there national park and other nature reserves are habitat islands many of them encircled by potentially damaging logging mining energy extraction and industrial activities freshwater lakes are also habitat island that are especially vulnerable to the introduction of non native species and population 
habitat fragmentation by roads lacking agriculture and urban development occurs when a large contiguous area of habitat is reduced in area and divided into smaller more scattered and isolated patches this process reduces the tree population in forest block migration routes migrant species also face dangers from lenses farms paved areas sky capers and cell phone towers the principal greenhouse has is the carbon dioxide cause major destruction in the species distribution next is invasive species it is an introduced organism that become overpopulated and harms its new environment it adversely affect habitat and bioregion cause ecological environmental and economic damage example zebra mussel nutria conitrod uh, burmese python etc once a harmful non native species become established in an ecosystem its removal is almost impossible some what like trying to get smoke back into chimney prevent them from being an introduced and become established that is of a successful invasive species high reproductive rate short generation time rapid reproduction ecological competence pioneer species long lived high dispersal rate generalist high genetic variability it also a introduced organism that become overpopulated and harms its new environment it adversely affect habitat and bioregion causing ecological environmental or economic damage example the case of purple sea urchin which has a rich decimated kelp forest along the northern california coast due to overhasting of its natural predator the california sea otter kutsu the japanese wild species invasive in the southeast united states growing in atlantia and georgia the homo sapiens especially modern age human as an invasive species the brown tea snake jackson's chameleon lantana camera etc are the invasive species then prevention found a massive research program to identify the major characteristics of successful invasive species and the type of ecosystem that are vulnerable to invaders greatly increased ground surveys and satellite observation to detect the invasive species step up inspection of important goods and goods then characteristics of ecosystem vulnerable to vulnerable species climate similar to habitat of invader absence of predation absence of fire disrupted by human activities thank you